Living with enemies can be really challenging. King David knows what that's like, and Jesus gives us a way forward. Hi, I'm Justin Rosso, and our devotion today comes from a rather obscure Bible verse. It fits with the theme of clothing that we're looking at this Advent, but it's not a a verse you're probably familiar with. It's from Psalm 35, verse 36, and it says this, Let them be put to shame and disappointed altogether who rejoice at my calamity. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor who magnify themselves against me. That's a a psalm of David. And as you read that whole psalm, you can hear David complaining to God about these people who are unjustly persecuting David. David feels like he's under attack and he continually cries out to God to rescue him. And not only to rescue him, but to put all of his enemies to shame. Clothe them with shame. We know what it's like to have enemies. We see it all around us. We see it in the news every day from Ukraine to Gaza to political parties. Anyone who doesn't think like you or vote like you or believe like you becomes your enemy. You feel persecuted. You feel under attack. There are people at work or at school that you just don't get along with who rub you the wrong way and you're pretty sure they don't like you very much and the feeling's mutual. You sometimes even feel hated as well as under attack. And if we're honest, we can sense those feelings of hate in ourselves as well. There's people we just don't like. They're our enemies. And yet, when we go back to that psalm, as David cries out to God and longs for rescue, as David prays the prayer to put his enemies to shame, we, we hear those words also through the lens of Jesus, who as great David's greater son, also prays the psalms. We hear Jesus, the only truly holy one, the only one completely without sin, the only righteous sufferer, cry out to God for rescue. And yet when Jesus prays these prayers of David, when Jesus calls out for his enemies to be clothed with shame, we see him live out the opposite reality. We see Jesus take our shame on himself, to be clothed in shame on the cross. In fact, it's Romans chapter 5 that says, While we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son. We were God's enemies enemies. And that puts our own enemies in a different kind of light. You see, in our story of everyday life, it sure feels like they're the bad guys and we're the good guys. It feels like we're under attack and we have to defend ourselves or our politics or our church or our faith. We have to defend ourselves and the things that are important to us from those enemies that are out there. And yet, when we recognize that we ourselves were God's enemies, when we see a bigger story, a bigger story of creation and redemption where God took on flesh and took the sins of the world on his shoulders, when we were still sinners, Christ died for us at just the right time in our weakness, when we were ungodly, Jesus died for us while we were still sinners, while we were still enemies of God, Jesus reconciled us. To the Father by his death on the cross. When we hold that bigger picture, that bigger story in place, then we begin to see even those people we count as enemies on the same side of the battle as we are. They, like us, in their sin are enemies of God, and they, like us, are loved by God and redeemed by Jesus, even when they haven't come to know and claim that yet. That changes our perspective on what it means to live with enemies. When we recognize ourselves as God's enemies and yet redeemed in Jesus Christ, then we see our enemies as those who are loved by Jesus. And even though in our part part of the story, even though from our perspective they feel like enemies who would attack us and harm us, we see in them fellow beloved, fellow redeemed, those for whom Christ died. It was Dietrich Bonhoeffer who said, you cannot hate the person for whom you pray. And so we're going to do that today. Let's pray. Well, Lord Jesus, you took our clothing of shame on the cross 
When we were your enemies, you died for us and brought us back to God. So we hold before you today those people who feel like enemies to us, those people who hate us or attack us, those people who don't believe like we do or think like we do or vote like we do, those people in our lives that make us feel under attack. And we hold them before you in prayer, trusting in your mercy that you love them and died for them, that you would also reconcile them to God. And because we are all reconciled to God by your cross, Jesus, we ask that you would reconcile us even to our enemies. For you, Jesus, took away our sin and shame at the cross, that we might be reconciled to God and to one another. Come quickly, Lord. Amen. Living with enemies can be a real challenge. King David knew what that was like. Jesus knew what that was like. And Jesus died to bring all of God's enemies back home. Amen.